back to the big Friday night show, everybody. Got my Friday night tie on. <laughs> Welcome back, college dorms across America. <laughs> yeah, you, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, you. Dude, this is really happening. <laughs> yeah. My first guest tonight is a very beautiful and talented actress. She's a huge movie star. She's starring in the new film Untraceable, which is in theaters now. Take a look at this. Holy crackers. <laughs> you can't stop it there. What happens? <laughs> Please welcome Diane Lane, everybody. It's very nice to see. May I say how lovely you look? Well, thank you. I love I, your new haircut. Thank you. I, I just got it Thursday night. It looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I just say how fantastic your shoes are? I don't normally talk about people's shoes, but oh. these are sensational. My goodness, they're yeah. so simple. I appreciate really? your appreciation they're simple. of them. No, they, they catch the eye. Thank you. Are well, you a big shoes fan? Um... I'm guilty of having more shoes than I wear. Really? <laughs> you know, I've never met a woman in my life who doesn't love shoes. It's true. It's a strange... What is that? Why? I don't, it must be a hormonal thing, I suppose. I don't... Do you know what I thought it was? It's, this, sounds, this sounds a little kind of negative, but it's not meant to be. But I think women love shoes... This is what I've noticed. I think women love shoes is because the size never changes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like if, you, like, if you put on a couple of pounds, you're like, the shoes are still your friends. Well, Yes, well, I beg to differ. I mean, honestly, it's funny. When you have a child, your feet grow. Well, there is that, yeah. And yeah. my 14-year-old is now very upset that I didn't save all the shoes that I gave away. You when gave I, away all the well, shoes? Well, because they didn't fit me anymore. What was I thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize The kid's going to grow up and yeah, you save, and it, you save a she fortune. She just wants my shoes. That's yeah. really what I exist for. What wage is your... You have a daughter who's... Yeah, what, a daughter. <laughs> it would be strange if... Well, yeah, yeah, son, but, you know... Yeah. <laughs> I was in San Francisco last weekend, and let me tell you. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, she, yeah, it's all about my shoes, you know, yeah. she, just to look at. Just to look at? Well, because I hardly, when I'm on your show, I get to wear them, but Do you know, uh, at you home, know what, yeah, yeah. come on, right? I mean, you know. No, I think, uh, my image of you in my head is, I like is, your image, tell you, me. You wear this outfit in <laughs> vacuum. Better. Yes. <laughs> You're like, mm, 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 I've seen that mm, Freddie mm, Mercury mm, mm, video. You know maybe one of those little do raggy things on your head. <laughs> la 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 la. Well, my husband's Don't, birthday's yeah, coming up. You've given me a nice that's idea. That's it. That's your husband's you. birthday present right there. <laughs> That'd be great. Now, listen, tell me about the movie. What's uh, the movie about? Well, it's a thriller, and it's interesting because I think it was written for a man originally. Really? Well, I mean, they just made John Jennifer, which was great. Uh, as a thriller, I was delighted because. This genre tends to have women as victims, victims. Yeah, or, yeah, or it, the, the perpetrator is always, you know, Pauline tied to the tracks ever since the silent era of right, films right, and right. all this. The perils of Pauline, wasn't That's it? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You must pay the rent, Pauline! Yeah, that's no, right, all that. that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen that movie, yeah, too. Yeah, a million okay. times. There you go. Yeah. So, there was no sexism, there was no misogyny. It was just, uh, you know, a crime, drama, thriller, and... Um, I, I, I thought it was now, very what's the, smart. Now, what's, what's the story then? You're being followed by a well, guy I'm with a tiny camera? <laughs> <laughs> I got from the that's, club. I'm that's like, a sequel. How did you know? Yeah. Um, no, it's... Um, I'm, I'm Cyber Crimes Division uh, FBI agent, and I actually got to spend some time with the Cyber Crimes Division There's FBI a real division officers. of cyber yes, crimes? Yes. They have a full-time job. It's endless. I had no idea how much crime is happening in what, identity theft little and all wires. That? Well, yeah. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And really protecting children. And, right, of course, uh, yeah. Nobody is who they say they are on the Internet, of course. Yeah, That's the starting point. And then from there, anything is possible. So, And if somebody wanted to do half of the things that go on, you know, it's possible, and that's and, what's and what, so frightening. And it, it, is it you're being tra uh, followed around by an untraceable cyber Well, criminal? no, I'm trying to stop live-action badness, and yeah. it's being propagated, and, and the more that people... That would put the this show out of business. You do know that, don't you? <laughs> the, the more people that tune in, 
the guy's keeping track, and it's sort of an indictment against what people choose to watch right. online. And uh, it's very clever. I mean, uh, do you do you censor criminal, your own? You have a teenage daughter. We talked about. It. Do you censor her access to the to the internet? <laughs> can you? I mean, is it even <laughs> possible? The truth. the truth is, I mean, we all have to instill a little what I call Jiminy Cricket inside right. of everybody. And really, I think you know who you are when you're alone with a computer for as long as these kids are, or a lot of people, where do you go when you feel like, A, you're anonymous, B, nobody cares or is watching, and y your appetites and proclivities are just sort of, you know, the you whole world is there You come on this show quite available. clearly. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think that that's true. It is a completely uh, unrestrained... Uh, Entitlement. Y your appetites That's the generation, yeah, too, yeah. that I'm dealing with. Is right. Like, this is my private universe mom and and I don't want you to have the password and uh, I got a Facebook account and she was so angry with me like it was just her domain and I had no right to have an account no I, I that is weird though I don't know I don't I don't think that I you know my son's six and a half so his you know access to the computer you've got about is, ten minutes yeah yeah I know <laughs> But the thing is, I also, you know, feel okay physically tackling him when he reaches for the computer. <laughs> so like, when he's like, no! <laughs> and, and I'll do that. I until, just saw that. Yeah, and until he's 40, I'm going to do that. He's <laughs> like, no! Get away! Dad! For goodness sake, Dad, I have kids of my own. Get away from that computer! <laughs> I like that. But I'm terrified that... I'm terrified that people have access to my child that I can't monitor. There's and I that. suppose that's what there's, that is. There's that element. And, and you know, I mean, it's, it is kind of a litmus test. And, and we're, we're just tour guides, parents, aren't we? I yeah, mean, yeah, really yeah. what you were intending to do is to get people to a point where they have their own boundaries and they value them. So... And, and instill and instill that in them. Well, right. now listen, tell me about your... Uh, your do, do you live here? Do you live in, in Los Angeles? Are you from here? If you can call it living, no I'm really? kidding. No. no, the big joke when you're from New York is there's no life after death, there's only L.A. But, I mean, you know, I love L.A. I've, I've completely 180 80 degrees changed. I'm, I'm Really? Do you, do you surf? I've raised my children in the really? rearview mirror, yeah. Do you, <laughs> do you, uh, are you into the Kabbalah and all that stuff? Do you do all that? Ooh, that's a big word. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Really? Ah, I thought My you did. grandmother was a Pentecostal mm. preacher. Though. Well, that'll do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are Pentecostals? I'm not quite sure what they do. Well, we they don't handle this. Well, some do handle snakes. Right. Um, but uh, you know, you get the They're Holy Ghost. There's more zookeepers <laughs> that handle snakes these days. <laughs> Animal wranglers on yeah, film yeah. sets, but yes, um, you know, you get the Holy Ghost and you dance around and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah it's, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, have, you, have you been very uh, religious in your daughter's upbringing? Are you uh -uh. Like, no, uh -uh. no? Uh -uh. So how do you handle I let that? Her, well, I think that it's important to become familiar with all different creeds and cultures and faiths. And I had a weird one with my son the other day. Oh, I was, yeah, 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 we were talking about Alcatraz, and, he, and, I, <laughs> and he said, I said, all the bad people went there. Uh, and, and he said, did Hitler go there? Mm. And I said, no, no, Hitler didn't go there. He said, where's Hitler? I said, he's dead. And then he said, is Hitler in heaven? And I said... Uh, no. And then he said, well, where is he? And I went, I don't know. You didn't want to send him there. I don't know what to do, you know. I, and I find myself in this horrible position of not knowing what to do. Like, it's like the monologue. But you're at that great age. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, you, all kinds of great questions yeah, come yeah. your way when they're six and a half. And by 14... You don't know anything. Yeah, I know. And, and it's just better that way, really. Yeah, yeah, you're um, right. I'll look forward to it. You know, I'm it. sort of tolerated. It's yeah. all good. Hey, anyway, well, listen, thanks for coming. Oh, I appreciate yeah, it so much. I'm such a fan of your show. Well, I'm such a fan of your show. And my husband, Josh Brolin, wants to send you his best. He had a Josh great time on the show. Josh was lovely when he was here. And I thank think you. he'll thank me when you dress up in that little outfit. He will. He, uh, so we thank you in advance. So congratulations to you, Josh. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Diane. We'll be right back, everybody. guest tonight is an Oscar nominated actress. That was me acting. <laughs> but she is Oscar nominated and she's starring in a new film, uh, Cinema Verite, which premieres on HBO. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not TV, is it? <laughs> it premieres uh, April 23rd on <laughs> April 23rd on HBO. Please welcome the beautiful Diane Lane, everybody. Diane Lane. I'm so 
excited to see you, and I see I was right to be. Look at you. Well, thank you. You look great. You're very kind, I, I, and you're very handsome, too. You said that. Well, on television. Yeah, on I, no, you said it with your mouth, but your eyes were looking a little kind of... Askance? Yeah, you were, well, you know, across here, perhaps. Oh. What is that? That's a snake cup. It's something that us uh, gentlemen with the smaller penis used to overcompensate. <laughs> We were just talking about my weenus backstage. Your weenus? Mm. <laughs> well, that's going to make the news. What's a, what's a weenus? I was told that it's this. Oh. When you straighten your arm, you don't want to do that. What you... It, because then you see your weenus. <laughs> it's late night, you know. Uh, uh, do I have a weenus? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you with that. No, baby, I do yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, our, we touched our weenuses. <laughs> nice. Do you have any tattoos, by the way? Did you see that? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. That doesn't bode well for your weenus. No, yeah, it does. It's all in pieces. <laughs> yeah, but the pieces keep going and keep going. Oh, God. No, they don't. Early days yet, I just sat down. No. <laughs> where we're headed. If I had a nickel for every time I'd heard a woman say that, I... <laughs> You don't have any tattoos, though, do you? No, no. Oh, really? You surprised me. Really? No, not at all. Oh. Not at all. Okay. You're, an, you're an Oscar-nominated actress. Ah, uh, yes. What did you get the nomination for? Uh, Unfaithful. Unfaithful? Oh, yeah. No, that was good, that. Thank you. Yeah, no, you were good in that. Do you know what else I liked you in? Uh, Secretary, yeah? I've been warned. Okay, where are we going? I think there might be someone at the door, Diane. <laughs> No, that's, that's the, uh... Person. Yeah, I finally met the, him in that's person. The, uh, that's the you know we had a we actually did this thing at Hollywood Park Racetrack. We had that uh, our secretariat race against the horse that played secretariat in the How'd movie. How'd that go? Uh, ours lost. Oh, but with great style. Uh, yeah, and and over a very short space of time. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you do any horse riding in Cinema Verity? Oh. Your movie you no. came to talk about? I, I see what I did. It's not a Western. It's not? But um, I have, the last time I was on a horse, I was thrown. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. They saw something shiny in the bushes and oh, so they like went and I stayed. It was, like a, it was like a cartoon. The horse was gone and I just went. Yeah. <laughs> but there was this moment where you hover. And it's all happening. You know, I got on my weenus, actually. The last time I... This is true. I show you. The last time I was on a horse. See that there, that scar? Oh, my. Yeah, look at that. that was That's how... real. Yeah. Mm. Can you see that there? Can you get... Look at all that. See that? That's falling off a horse. That must have been a big horse. Yeah, it was, actually. It's my horse, my own horse, Duncan. Oh. Yeah. He's Isn't a Clydesdale he a, horse. A Clydesdale. Yeah. He rode a Clydesdale? Well, not anymore. You must be bow-legged. They're very wide. No, they're big. Well, big. you know, I, I got rid uh, I led you into no. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Pardon no, me. I, uh, no, I do like a bit of horse riding, me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. But... Not so much in Cinema Verite. Oh, Cinema Verite, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's Cinema Verite about then, Diane? Well, let's see now. Um, the Loud Family in 1973, I think it aired, was the first <gasps> oh, yeah, American yeah, Family, yeah. was the name of the show, first people that allowed cameras in their life. The, kind of the first reality show. Well, right? it's interesting because the reality show became something, how we got where we are today is a whole other yeah, can of Yeah, it's not worms, really but reality shows now. I don't think so. I think no, it's kind it's of an oxymoron, right? I mean, isn't yeah, it it's like it's like out? when they say amateur porn. They're not really amateurs. Everybody's a star. Yeah, they're not really amateurs. The people in the amateur porns, they're just ugly professionals. You know what I'm saying? God. Yeah, and, My and, husband is going to really enjoy this show. Oh, really? <laughs> And that's and that's and that's what the no. I'm not saying cinema verite is like. Oh, no, I'm saying no, I mean, no, no. But that's what I'm saying is like the reality shows are just you know low paid actors now, aren't they? Really? Um, I don't even. Well, if they have an agent, I suppose they're an actor, which means right. they're not a real person. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Doesn't. It's all so complicated, really. Right, it's a little bit. Right, so Cinema Verity, anyway, yes. the, this is, so it's the story of the family that really allowed the cameras into their lives. Yeah. And what happened? For seven then? months, 300 hours of footage was whittled down to 12. And it's interesting because, I don't know, 
It's a very complex situation. This poor woman was trying to save her marriage and, in fact, wound up um, asking for a divorce. On camera? Yes. It really caused quite a stir. Yeah. And about that. Yeah. It was uh, talked about. I remember being seven years old and everybody was up in arms about it. Yeah, I, I was Being a child of divorce, I, I, yeah, well, I, I felt like I was in the majority in Manhattan. But. Well, it's, it, there's a lot of it now. I mean, I, mean, I guess in 1973? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was nine, nine? <laughs> Single digit. Yeah, I was nine. I was nine. I was got my first tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I, I think that I think it'd be, it's fascinating though that because there used to be a kind of line drawn between you know uh, real life and what was on television, mm -hmm. and now there isn't really, is there? I mean, this was kind of like from a reality, reality show. shows. I really do kind of pull the sheets over my head. Really? I mean, except for hoarders and maybe some of those. You know, the, the rehab shows more kind people of are outsider to art ones. Get their act together. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for people when they when they allow that into I don't know. I just I feel I know, because we make our living in front of the cameras. Can you imagine not having any off duty time? Wouldn't that be It'd be like doing this show every night. <laughs> I don't, uh, I tend not to. That's I not enough of a perk. No, no, I, <laughs> I, if I had a nickel for every time I'd heard a woman say that. <laughs> I, I think that, no, it's quite interesting because I do this every night and I don't really, there's no real line for me anymore. <laughs> I mean, not really. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm just waiting for what? No, no, no. It's like you let down the moat and I'm going to cross no, that. Really. No, no. I mean, the, the bridge over the moat. No, no, it's fine. But you must answer my questions yes. three. As long as I do it with that Scottish accent. Yeah, well, question the first. <laughs> Mouth Roll organ the or awkward pause? Uh, awkward pause. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, I'd like a, This is an Oscar nominated Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> bring your A game, Craig. Bring your A game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you really know how to milk this. this oh, yeah. I'm taking lessons. I, did I interrupt it? I ruined it. No, 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 no it's all right. Sorry. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. And this time, the awkward pause has a sexual undertone. <laughs>